Virginia Governor Ralph Northam now says the photo in question is clearly racist and offensive. Calls for his resignation have been swift and are coming from all corners, including from some presidential candidates. But Northam so far is resisting the intense pressure to step down. Overnight, Virginia's Democratic governor apologized for this yearbook photo taken over three decades ago, saying this on Twitter. That photo and the racist and offensive attitudes it represents does not reflect that person I am today or the way that I have conducted myself as a soldier, a doctor, and a public servant. I am deeply sorry. The photo in question appearing on Governor Ralph Northam's 1984 medical school yearbook page. It shows a man in blackface and another in a KKK robe and hood. Northam did not specify which person he is, but did say that he intends to finish his term as governor. The racist image originally surfaced Friday afternoon on a far-right website that often promotes conspiracy theories. But backlash was swift from both sides. Calling for Northam's resignation, Virginia Republicans and Democrats, including the former governor, major progressive groups, the NAACP, and Democratic presidential candidates. The Virginia Democrat was already under fire from conservatives after voicing support for a state measure to significantly loosen late-term abortion restrictions. So in this particular example, uh, if a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. Northam, a pediatric neurosurgeon, later said his comments were mischaracterized. Now, Northam says he has no plans to resign over the photo. If he does step aside, he'd be succeeded by Virginia Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. He's a 39-year-old African-American lawyer who's considered a rising star in Virginia Democratic politics.